like this video. And enjoy. A bleak up predicament. Predicament. Miss Agatha M wait. What are we trying to determine here? Who's a suitable customer? Oh, for soaps? Oh, I see. We're trying to sell them. Hello. Who is this? Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an ex- How did you get this number? Do you know what <laughs> time it is? It's my relaxing time. That's what it is. Do I sound relaxed? But you don't also sound like Agus. I'm hmm. terribly sorry. Sorry? I'll make you sorry. Wow, we're gonna make an enemy already. Got it. Oh, that's who you tried. <laughs> oh. Grumpston. I can't believe you called again. <laughs> I get my hand I changed the, batter. the buttons. Oh. That was very finicky. Hello, oh, Telegram. Speak up, my eyes are hurting. Greetings. What? what? calling from Dullsworth <laughs> Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Dullsworth, you say? I got some Dullsworth shampoo in my eyes and couldn't see for weeks, and it still stings. I wouldn't use that stuff on my cats. It's a menace. Goodbye. Well, 
That sucks. Okay, then. Miss Ruth Fondling. Um... Oops. No. <laughs> Just no. You sure? Well, I don't want any fondling. Was it being finicky like the last game? Yep. Yeah, the last game was pretty bad when it came to its controls sometimes. It was just like, I'm gonna fucking. Pick it! Hello, is that you, Margaret? Uh, no. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Soap? Oh, no, no, no thank you very much, Lee. I, I never use the stuff. I like mm. things dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Bob Goblet. Gog Gogglebles. Gobbles. Oh, Bob Gobbles. That's, that's who it. the customer is. Guarantee you that's it. Hello, this is who is this? Hello, sir. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company with an exclusive offer just for you. Really? Just for me? How delightful. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes it is. For a limited period only, we are offering you a free flannel with every bar of adequate soap you buy. A free flannel, you say? Ooh, wonderful. I'll take one, please. Flannel. Really? I mean, excellent. I shall have those dispatched to you right away. Well, there we go. Two oh. more. God damn it. This is, this is what the game is going to come down to. <laughs> This is going to be the first episode, actually. I'll probably call this. Hello, yep. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. And? Would you, perchance, be interested in purchasing perchance? some of our perfectly adequate soap? Whatever for? Its unique formula is guaranteed to make you fairly clean. Fairly. fairly. I don't have time for this newfangled cleanliness in my life. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Should have offered the free flannel. Mr. Guy Hardwood. These names, I love them. They are great names. Mm. Guy Hardwood speaking. What do you want? Come on, come on, spit it out. I ain't got all day. I'm an exceptionally impotent person. Impotent. Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth well, Soap Company with an exclusive offer. Fiddle, you old dog. Is that you? Uh, no, no, most definitely not. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, was Hardwood one of the guys from the Adventures Guild or Club? I think so. Uh, okay, that would make sense. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? I don't remember him. Kenneth D. Butchery. These are fucking fantastic names. Oh, I know. Yes. Greetings. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. Greetings. With an exclusive I love that. offer. Go on. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? Whatever for. Well, it is very good for cleaning. Does it remove stubborn stains, stings. like blood, for example? Uh, um, probably. Oh, well then, I'll take five, no, six packets right away. Ooh, jolly good. Well, Mr. Debauchery, how many fucking names are there? That's my question. Oh, we have to fill it up all the way to the top, don't we? Yeah, we have to. Ugh. That's what I was saying. Mr. Grotto's residence. Would you be interested in a bar of our new and improved, even more adequate soap? Soap? No. Not now, not never. Soap bad. Milks you, it does. Right. What? I'll put that down as a no, then. <laughs> Lady Mary. Marigold Gumsfield. Or Glumsfield. Oh, God. Just, you want to go away there, Mouse? Yeah. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? No. Cut right to juice. Didn't think so. Blather uh, snatch. Boulder snatch. Boulder snatch. Blather snatch. That's why I was like, what are you talking about? This Boulder snatch. Oh God, that's so wrong. Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? How rude! Goodbye. <laughs> Okay. Rude. How many more calls are we gonna have to make? Would you be interested in a bar of our new, even more adequate soap? Not today, thank you. I'm quite clean enough. I would have thought SpongeBob. Was egg oh, that's the first one. Oh, the one I originally tried to call? Uh, the first number we get. Oh. Uh, so you really skipped the first number? I guess so. Hello. Greetings. 
Greetings, madam. I'm calling from Dullsworth Soap Company. Would you like to buy some soap? What flavor? Nothing flavor. Flavor? Um, sort of cleany, flowery? I love soup. I'll buy some. Sorry, madam. I think you misheard me. I said soap, not soup. Oh, that is a shame. I really wanted to buy some soup. Well, this soap does make a tasty broth. <laughs> it does? Then I'll buy a packet. Thank you. Jolly good. <clears throat> oh, we're done. My work is done. I need Mr. Dullsworth to stamp my work ticket. What the fuck is that? That's what I was Selling thinking. Selling soap is thirsty work. Oh, that's the water. Oh. Ah, yeah. uh, this tea is revolting. Yeah, I. Wouldn't. Yeah, it doesn't look very good. Soap is good. <laughs> that's the slogan. Soap is good. I wish they improved the walking speed just Mr. a little Dullsworth. bit. Oh, okay. Mr. Dullsworth. Oh. <laughs> Wherever could he be? Well, I never saw him leave. Mrs. Dullsworth was right. He is up to something. Oh, the fucking disappointed mother picture. The witty motivational painting. Wait, there's something behind it. Oh. I just clicked it because it looks stupid. I just wanted him to read it. <laughs> Solid as a rock. Well, gotta find a pen. Defer digit. Okay. Or not. Mm. It's zero, zero, zero. That would have been hilarious if it was actually zero, zero, zero. What a tidy desk. Agreed. Very. Hand lotion. He must like keeping his skin soft. Soft. Um, and supple. Um. These are debtors' letters. Mr. Dullsworth isn't as squeaky clean as everyone thinks. Mr. Dullsworth's work diary. Quick diary. So this is what Extra he does here all day. Extra long soap. Unobjectively scented candles. Turn Cheese clean. flavored soap. Shampoo that doesn't burn the eyes. I may ask, JBG, when cheese flavored is soap happen. I've been waiting ever so patiently for the right moment, but somehow one always forgets. I've become so forgetful lately. I've become so forgetful lately. I can't go on much longer. Mother's starting to suspect. I always feel her watching. I'm starting me. to get suspicious. I feel her watching me. Turn yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe. Hell, hell, hell. Down. I wonder if something is bothering him. I was gonna say, maybe it's because you have the pictures of her looming over your desk. All work, no play, makes Alderman a good boy. Algerman. Meet VG and EM at 7 p.m. this evening. Tonight I'll get my revenge on MC. I will make my mother proud. Stupid cat. He can't tell me what to think. He can't. He can't I remember to buy to buns. Remember to buy buns. Hell. A souvenir from the delightful town of Grimsthorpe. Oh, uh, I think it's just this controller's broken. It's not the actual game itself. Oh, well, if you want, you can switch the uh, controller up A there. Of his mother. That's fine. He must love her very much. Mr. Dullsworth's oh, stamping stamp. machine. I'm sure I will be permitted to use it in his absence. Bother! It's inkless. Oh, gotta find ink now. Great. Thanks. Mr. Dullsworth's work. So yeah, we're into that. <laughs> All right, now to leave the desk. Check the closet. Oh, the eyes moved. I think. Mrs. Mrs. Dullsworth, a formidable woman. Her eyes seem to follow you around the room. Oh my! Sales of soap are slipping. Uh. And look at the cost of ink. It's extortionate. I wonder if he's in the closet. It's hello. These look like the clothes. Oh, there's a door back there. Wearing. A secret exit. Guess we go, because there's nothing else we can do. Must be how he sneaks in and out without anyone noticing. Mr. Dullsworth is slipperier than he looks. What does Mr. Dullsworth hmm. need a secret oh, tunnel goes. for? Secret tunnels! Secret tunnels! Enough fun. Why, mother, my eyes barely burn at all. Why, mother, my eyes barely burn at all. Dullsworth, unexpected shampoo. <laughs> unexpected shampoo. Making machines. 
Unexceptional, sir. Can't go anywhere else? Oh, there we go. Oh! He's got clean away! What could he possibly be up to? God damn, man. I forgot about the fucking puns. Puns! Well, can't do anything here now. Oh. What? Where bye. You? Bye. Uh, He's hiding. It's hide and seek with fiddle. I hear, I hear squishing. I. Did we break that game? No, you just traveled a long way, apparently. Okay, so we gotta find Try. a screwdriver to get into the. Yeah, so you gotta. Go back upstairs. Yeah. I wonder if. Oh, it's seven seven three four. How do you know that? Go back to the page where he has to turn the frown upside down. Frown upside down. Turn it around. L is written 77434. He means literally turn the book around. I'm guessing there's an... I don't know if you literally can do that, but there you go. Seven. Seven. Three? Three, four. That would explain the random writing of hell, but... Maybe it's just because he works in a boring ass soap factory. Well, at the same time. Yeah, there we go. There's the ink. Ooh, red ink. A letter. Quite perfect. Yeah, red ink. It's and probably blood. Kiss. Can we read it? Yeah, that was Should that'd I be, be dabbling in matters of the heart? Yes. yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Want to read? Heavenly scented love letter in a dainty pink envelope addressed to Mr. Dullsworth. It is sealed with a kiss and a, f a few stray purple hairs. Ew. My dearest, some things have been then it doesn't make sense anymore. Lame! You can't actually like, pull it out and read it, huh? Nope. What a tidy desk! Shut up, Bartram. <laughs> we have things to do! I love how it has like a little faucet underneath. This was the only problem with this game, was the fucking controls were kind of wacky. But also, like, to be fair, I'm playing with a, a junkie controller. Yeah. You could just leave it, I think. Yep. Alrighty. A photograph of his mother. He must photograph. Love I love that. Now you just need to find a tool or something. Yeah. I'm assuming you can just go out the front door now that... God, this whole first episode is just going to be us trying to fucking get out of this goddamn factory. Yep. There's no, like, tool laying around anywhere we can see? At that point where we just need to leave out the front door. But... I... Oh, wait, the door right there! Try yeah. that fucking door. What? Yeah, you not notice that? I, I, I noticed, but I didn't think. It was there the whole I time. I didn't think, okay. Good evening, Mr. Fiddles. Working late again. That lovely wife of yours must be very proud. Indeed she is, Mr. Tibbs. But this Mr. is merely Tibbs. a short-term yeah. position until I find myself a suitable adventure. Of course, sir. I understand. I actually am an author. Romance novels is my thing. This job is merely yeah. to pay the bills until I get my. He never moves deal. his mouth! You, Tibbs. Mm. Now, if you will open the gate, I'll be off. I'm afraid you can't leave until you've finished your work. That's called slavery, Dick. But I am finished! Quiet! Tibbs. A pleasant and uneventful evening to you, Mr. Fiddles. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I want to. I want to. So, oh, you can run. What? It smells perfectly acceptable. How did you get him to run? You just double tap. Fuck! Oh my god! Oh, that makes things so much nicer. My God! Imagine the lather we'd be in if something happened to them. How? Just double tap A. Like, how did we not know this? I don't know if it was in the first game. I doubt it, though. Evening, Burbo. Evening, Burbo. Distinct lack of murderings lately. Jeff the murderer not struck again for a long time. Well, yeah, Let Jeff the murderer. Obviously, a slow news day. Uh, tell me about it, sir. They take some homes on holiday. Are pickles now? good for you? Well, they do <laughs> say no news is good news. Huh? Are pickles good for you? Anything. Full story. Inside. Huh? Are pickles good for you? Full story inside. Hello, man in hole. Good evening, sir. 
You're working late. Yes, sir. Another convict escaped last night and ran down the sewers. It's like a maze down there. An escape? How thrilling. Indeed. Whisked clean away whilst no one were looking. Was the convict dangerous? That's not for me to say, sir. I'm just here to fill in some gaping holes. Run, Bertram. Run! Need jail, where all the worst characters end up. Strange. Right next to us. Factory is so close to the prison. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, that is a little weird. But then again, in Hamilton, it's like prison, Coca-Cola factory. Yeah. And then hospital. Yeah, that's also weird. I must huh. find Mrs. Dalsworth's house and report my findings to her. The Dalsworth estate is at the top of Tormently Hill, if I recall. Tormently Hill, of course. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Uh, do you need help, dude? It's that reporter lady from last Bertram, last game. Over here, Evelina. Fancy seeing you here. How are you? I've not seen you for such a time. Off having fantastic adventurings, no doubt. Um, not exactly. I, um, uh, how are you? Have you been busy? Not at all, Bertram. There is so little news to report upon nowadays. Since all those dreadful murderings stopped, I've had nothing to do. I'd really hoped that the Jeff the Murderer story would make my name as an independent investigative journalist. But it's been so quiet mm. recently. Even Sherlock Holmes has gone away on an extended holiday. I hope something newsworthy happens soon, or I may be forced to make my own headlines. I'm almost oh, that was to a bad murder someone myself, <laughs> just for something to write about. Oh. I'm uh, currently oh. investigating uh, a case okay. for Mrs. Dalsworth. It's nothing much, but I'm hoping it may turn into some sort of fantastical adventure. Oh, hello. Dalsworth, eh? Here's a name I've not heard in a while. I know a few things about old squeaky clean Dalsworth that would shock the likes of you. Really, madam? Do you mind? Oh, la -de da Does your lady friend want some flowers? Oh, no. She isn't my... I mean, I mean I'm not her. The, the... <laughs> no, thank you, madam. I'm not a flowery person. Suit yourself. Was that him? I don't think so. I'm going away for a few days. There is something oh. very important I need to do. Off somewhere nice, are you? I shan't tell you anymore. It is too complicated. Um. Yeah, that's weird. Sketchy? Yeah. I was gonna say, what's with the. Hey! It's this guy from last time! I remember you! <coughs> oh. I remember you. you! No one touches my oranges, cart but me. My oranges! My oranges! My cabbages! My cabbages! My cat, what the is... fuck is going on down here? She's trying to poop. Oscar, what are you doing? I'm protesting, Bertram. My dear friend, Walter, has been thrown into prison simply for being an artiste. Until Walter is set free, I shall remain enshackled here. Well, I hope you really stick it to the man, Oscar. Me too, Bertram. Me too. <laughs> okay. Aunt Fanny's cakery. Oh, you can go in. I kicked a pigeon. You must well, be she Aunt Fanny. Seems nice. Oh, it's our wife. Is that our wife? That's our wife. Oh, I just remember the ugliest dog. I'm far too busy whisking to talk. Is how I keep my batter so smooth and creamy. She's engrossed in a frenzy of master baking. Fancy biscuits. Fancy biscuits. Oh, they don't look fancy. Hi, wife. What are you doing? I've been working late, and Mrs. Dalsworth has asked me to do something. It's not an adventure, is it? You know I forbade you to have any adventurings. Well, yes. Fuck you, woman! You can't tell me what to do! I'm the man of the house! Oh, dear. I wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I am much better off since you started work at the soap factory. Um... Don't care, fuck you. Yeah, dump her ass? Yeah, please. She's yeah, a... she already seems like a way more interesting lady. Yeah, I like the reporter chick. Yeah. Bang her, Bertram. Bang her. Another bleak and sinister alley. Hmm. Typical. Click everything, the adventure. There we go. Adventure! I have a feeling something's gonna happen here. Hello. This. Where's my soapbox? Oh, hello. Take a tram, a modern and exciting modern way of travel. Yeah. 
suitable for common folks, toys, or tops, e and even women. Come to Piddled by the Sea. It's never dull. Brockmark and Bray's oh. Freak Show. Exceptional wonder of nature. You won't believe your eye. Oh, look, there's certain words. I'm introducing the Invisible Man. Missing. Have you seen this bird? Oh, yeah, we yeah. released a pterodactyl, a, a naked pterodactyl. Uh, Mr. Odding's extremely nice beetroot and fig paste. Mr. Lawrence's impeccable ham. So, Implicable. ham, fig, I, tram, dull. Let's just put stuff, maybe, but I'm just curious about uh, what, where that voice would come from. Dull, bird, I, ham, uh, absolute gibberish. I have an appointment with Mrs. Dullsworth. I can't hear you. There must be a fault on the line. Can you hear me? Not if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Very much so. Those vulgar messages are an eyesore. I'm not letting you in until I know who you are. That's oh. what I figured. You had to build your name. Uh, okay. That's why as soon as I saw Fig, I was like, wait, Fiddleberg. Is it I am Bertram? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. Makes more sense that way. It, it would have made more sense, like, to me, if I and Ham were crossed over. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, I get, I get it now. Bart. Bart. Fuck. I, Ham, Bird, Tram, Fig, Dull. Ah, so you are Bertram Fiddle. Why didn't you say so? You're late. Thanks, lady. Thanks so much. In we go! God, running is so nice. Yeah, I don't know why. It's never was a thing the before. The estate looks like they've cleaned up with their soap business. They must have made a packet. Hmm. Good Hello. Day, sir. That's a sizable hole you're digging. It's my yes, grave. Mom has instructed me to dig it, though I don't know why. Uh, the husband's going in the hole. Yep. Oh, squirrel. Okay, bye. Gross looking squirrel. How do you Hello. do, ma'am? You're late, Mr. Fiddle. I've been watching your dilly dallyings. It is the sign of a simple mind. That was no dilly dallying. That was top quality investigative strolling you witnessed. <laughs> what in the world? She's got some uh, interesting art there. Tea? Is it good tea? I expect you want a cup of tea. Oh, yes. It's cold and very bitter. Oh, there it is. Oh! He has a weak mind, Mr. Fiddle, and is easily led astray. Lately, he has a crazy look in his eyes. I've seen it before and know he is up to something. I only have his best interests at heart. I need to know what he is doing. I did find you need this to letter fucking in his smile, too. It would appear that your son is in love. Love? What does he want to be in love for? He tried that once before, and I had to put a stop to it. Huh. I knew what she was planning, even if my Algernon didn't. Algernon. Can I see? A perfect swing. view of the soap factory. I like to keep a close eye on my son. Recently, he has become even more feckless than usual. Feckless. I see oh, everything. Wow. Oh, wow. Everything. She's got cameras over the whole fucking city. Okay, well, I guess I'll leave now. I'll be off then. If I uncover any more news, I'll be sure to let you know. Stop scratching your ass, dude. No stone unpro. Make sure you do. I'm only trying to protect him, Mr. Fiddle. A mother is a boy's best friend, Mr. Fiddle. Uh, I could strongly disagree with you there, madam. Yep. Away I go. I guess I'll go back then. Oh, Jeff the Murderer! It's you! <laughs> yeah, oh wow, he jumped quite fucking far. Yeah. Oh my! Um, don't move, I'll get help. Um, she's dead, dude. Oh, hey, Sherlock. Hey, you showed up, dude. Well, well, well. Fiddle. I must admit, you had me fooled. 
I never would have suspected you were Jeff the Murderer. Sherlock, what are you doing here? I thought you were on holiday. I just got back, and it's lucky I did, you despicable fiend. But Sherlock, it wasn't me. How could you think that? Well, let me see. Let's look at the evidence. There's a dead body, and there's you. You're quite mistaken. I saw Jeff run off in that direction. It's a shame there aren't any witnesses to back up your ludicrous story. Yeah. Oh, madam, did you see what happened? Indeed I did, Mr. Holmes. I heard a scream and looked out my window and saw that man standing over that poor dead lady. Oh, you gotta go back over to... Thank you, nosy old crone. <laughs> That's all the proof we need. Probably. Sherlock, you can't honestly think it was Bertram. Look, murderous mm. footprints leading right to that wall. Take him to Jail Street. Right you are, sir. But it wasn't me. I'm innocent. <laughs> if I had a penny for every time I've heard that one, Fiddle. <laughs> Take him to jail. I love how jail's not even spot right. Something doesn't smell quite right, Sherlock. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Watson, oh, sure. you have to believe me. I'm not Jeff. Huh. I know, Bertram. I know. Send I for whispers Tell everything. Him I need help. Of course. Hold tight, Bertie. Oh, shush, Watson. 